we have the mass of the unknown vapor as 0.012 grams. The volume is 54 mils, pressure 752 millimeters of mercury, and the temperature is 90 degrees. Some of the things to remember when we put NERT, and that's what this is, the ideal gas law, volume must be in a liter. So I'm going to just write that down. When I place that number in, remember it needs to be in a liter. Temperature must be in a Kelvin. So let me help myself remember that. 90 plus 273 gets me 363 Kelvin units. And the R constant in a Pouvenert must match the pressure unit in 752 mmHgs, or the word TOR, has an R constant that matches a 62.4. Hidden in the N variable is the molar mass. So here's what we know if PV equals NRT. Pressure given to us is 752 mmHgs. Volume is 0 0.054 liters. N is the number of moles and to substitute in, if moles is equal to grams over molar mass, that's our target variable. So I'll place in for the N variable, 0 0.012 grams over X, where X is going to represent the molar mass of our gas. R is our constant, 62.4, and the temperature in a Kelvin unit, 363 K. Following the steps to pull out x, we begin by multiplying both sides by x, so x comes over to this side. Remember, x represents molar mass. If we multiply both sides by x and bring the p and v under the gram times r times t, we've isolated the molar mass. The molar mass will be found by hitting the grams, 012, the constant 62.4, the temperature 363K over P times V in a parenthesis, 752, and the 054 liters all under the GRT over PV for molar mass. So let's hit and see what we find. 0 0.012 times 62.4 times 363 divided by 752 times 0 0.054 in a parenthesis. And the molar mass of our gas is 6.69 grams per mole. And I'll look up and see. Anyone else get that? Awesome. And that will do it. There's the last A plus for the fourth marking period testing.